Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to do a complete replacement of the screen on my beloved XPS 13 9310. I've already replaced the battery before this and I've upgraded the SSD drive from uh, 256 gigabytes to a 2 terabyte one. So uh, I was very disappointed when the screen stopped working and um, Dell was very kind enough to supply a battery. So we start off by removing all of the eight outside uh, screws and the first thing you have to do is disconnect the battery. We then have uh, three screws that hold the uh, screen connectors up. That Those have to be removed uh, and always finding the right uh, screwdriver always helps. Once the first uh, bridge on top is removed, those three screws are removed, we then physically disconnect the uh, display connectors that go to the keyboard. And there's a further three screw sets afterwards, a much smaller uh, screw set, um, which hold uh, the uh, connectors in place. So that's the first one, that's got three screws on it. Here's where we lift the actual uh, connectors, uh, just to use your finger. They're not held down by anything, they're not glued on and they remove. Next thing is we have to hold, we have to unscrew the piece of plastic that keeps those three in place. Those screws are extremely small, delicate and easy to lose. So be very careful when you uh, remove this uh, piece of, of plastic on top because those screws can easily go missing. We've done that. There, there are the little screws. Make sure you keep them safe. Uh, you can lift that up. Uh, that's the connector between the laptop and the screen. Here I'm trying to make sure that I don't lose the uh, screws by having a little piece of tape. Remove the six screws that uh, are on the hinge three on either side uh, that holds the screen onto the motherboard lift those up uh, they are quite tight you would be surprised how tight those hinges actually are so you might actually have to do what i've done is give it a little lift just to give it some separation from the motherboard all you do then is push the motherboard back there's your old screen off. Now the replacement comes as a complete unit. Uh, that includes the um, uh, camera uh, and everything else that you need for Windows. I'm just going to put this piece of plastic from the outside. I shouldn't have unwrapped it uh, just to make sure we don't get any scratches on the screen as we're doing this. This is purely just to protect the screen uh, as we fit the, the, the motherboard back in again. Get those things out of the way. Uh, it doesn't have to be neat. All you're trying to do is protect the screen from s scratching it whilst we put the uh, laptop back together again. The reverse process is very simple. Just re reverse everything you've done, put the screws back on the hinges, put the first bridge uh, back on, which holds the um, else the connectors onto the screen, put the top bridge on top, make sure it's nicely screwed on, and then all you have to do is clip on the uh, battery back on place, that's always useful, uh, and once you've done that, you clip on the aluminium back onto the laptop and put all the screws in. It is really as simple as that, a bit, a bit of a nerve wracking moment because those little screws are extremely difficult to put in, uh, as are these, the eight screws that go on back, but these are quite easy compared to everything else. Make sure you have the right tool set. Uh, when you get all that, the moment of truth will come shortly when you open the screen and it should start up and hopefully we now see an image and let's see if the proof of the pudding is in there. Let's open the screen up, take the screen protector off that we put in and by that time it should have booted and got going. And there we are, a completely new laptop.